Gomez plus Morticia equals compatibility plus chemistry plus connection. Dear hero, it is common knowledge that a similarity of likes, dislikes, beliefs, values, goals, achievements, subcultures, and communities are some of the criteria for compatibility in matchmaking. Oddly, it is found that compatibility is the least important factor in developing a deeply loving and long-lasting relationship. In many cases, dear hero, it is not even necessary. Chemistry is the physical attraction and effective communication that drives couples to get along and work well together. Chemistry doesn't require compatibility. It comes and it goes. It can be developed or ruined. Chemistry is not deep and personal, rather it is physical and social. Dear hero, know that the most important factor in a deeply loving and long-lasting relationship is an honest and emotional connection. Connection is mysterious. It is deep and personal. It will always have chemistry and can be without compatibility. It does not come or go. It cannot be created or destroyed. Connection is unaffected by long absences. It has been said that those who have it recognized it almost immediately during their first encounter with one another. Dear hero, relationships with deep emotional connections can be elusive to many. The reason for this is that both partners must lay down all their psychological defenses and reach out honestly to each other. This vulnerability can be very intimidating. A willingness to be vulnerable with others requires a strong foundation of emotional confidence. Restricting beliefs like women are gold diggers or men are pigs. Insecurities like feeling too poor or too ugly and unhealed traumas like being cheated on or the victim of a crime are all harmful to this required emotional confidence. An inability to face vulnerability is a curse that leaves many in unfulfilling relationships, terrible relationships, or consistently without partnership. Dear hero, know that an inability to face vulnerability is the source of all issues couples therapists must help their clients address. And know that a relationship is effectively over when one or more partner refuses to participate in repairing a damaged relationship. Dear hero, unhealed trauma is the greatest disadvantage when presented with the opportunity to connect with someone special. It is what causes people to run away, reject, or sabotage potentially deep and meaningful relationships. Its effects are so destructive that it is encouraged that people should not seek love until recovery or the trauma is dealt with effectively. Most people do not like hearing this and rebel instead. A common rebuttal is, if they won't have me at my worst, then they don't deserve me at my best. Yes, my friend, it is true that a great partner will be there for us when we are down. It is, however, a self-destructive trap for one to consistently present their worst self to their partner. One should aim to always present their best selves to their partner. This allows a couple to complement each other's strengths and minimize each other's weaknesses to create the strongest and most enjoyable relationship possible. Our best selves are caring and open to compromise. This brings value to our relationships. Our worst selves are insecure and selfish. This damages partnerships through rejection and demands. Dear hero, know that the path to traumatic recovery is not measured in time. 
Instead, we measure it by one's ability to be brave in the face of their insecurities and to allow themselves to connect to and be influenced by others. Also know that it is possible for psychologically broken people to come together and help each other heal. Such a partnership would be extremely difficult and a rare occurrence, yet it is possible. Dear Hero, the mindset I wish for you is one of recognition of the fact that we all have personal hells we go through. I wish that emotional vulnerability will not intimidate and prevent you from experiencing the connection that leads to a deeply loving and long-lasting love like the love of Morticia and Gomez Adams.